Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Valerie and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you guys stopped by today. So, um, I've been doing, this is like my third video today, guys, and none of them have went well. <laughs> so far, this one's not been too bad, so we'll see. Um, so guys, I have been sick, um, if you've watched my other videos, and for a couple weeks, and I haven't filmed, so I'm trying to get everything caught up, and I have a lot of stuff to do. So we are doing what I've been warming, um, just regular style. Um, I was busy warming, bring back my bars, and then once I got through them, I was kind of like, uh, I'm not feeling good. So I warmed a little bit, and then I kind of lost my sense of smell for several days, so I didn't warm, and then I went back when I did start, uh, got my sense of smell back, I went kind of nuts, so I have just been warming a lot. So, let's get into it, guys. Um, so, uh, I did whipped vanilla lavender. I did a couple cubes here in my bedroom. Um, I just kind of was um, feeling, still feeling kind of under the weather. I like lavender. Um, when I'm not feeling well, it's very comforting to me. But I didn't want like a full-blown, strong lavender because of my throat being sore and my sinus issue and infection. So I went with the softer whipped vanilla lavender, which is very nice. Um, the scent notes on whipped vanilla lavender is coconut milk, whipped vanilla, English lavender. And this one was, uh, came out Mother's Day of 2022. Um, and a lot of people did not like this one. It's like, some people like this one, some people like the other one, which was, I think, Sparkling Magnolia. I think it was Sparkling Magnolia. Um, but I like this one better um, for me. It's got a nice lavender scent in there. Kind of a little bit of herbally, but not super strong herbally. And then that uh, coconut milk and the whipped vanilla kind of really creams it up and mellows it down a little bit more. I love, I really do still like this one. For times when I'm just not wanting super strong, um, there's times when, you know, maybe I feel like I got a tickle in my throat or I feel like I am got a cold coming on and I don't want something super, uh, strong in my bedroom. Um, sometimes when I'm feeling under weather, I, and I'm warming stuff, sometimes it burns my throat. So, um, I, I am very careful with that when I'm not feeling good. Um, and this is just very comforting and calming and, just something light, and I really enjoyed that. So, so there's times I do want that. So whipped in the lavender. Um, also not feeling well, I did Just Breathe one day. I did a cube of that here in my bedroom. And once again, I didn't want to go overboard with it because of not feeling well. But this is another good uh, soothing one when you're not feeling good. It's got eucalyptus in it. It's got zesty lemon and medley of mints. And it's a pretty mint green color. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I smell that mint. I smell the lemon, which brightens up that eucalyptus. Oh, I love this. It's just, and you can smell the eucalyptus. I absolutely love this. I think it's a pretty decent thrower. Some people say it's not very strong. Um... I think I warmed it in my open concept. I've warmed it in here, and I've had some really good luck with it. Now, I don't think it's a long laster. I think like 24 hours if you have your warmers on constantly, and it's pretty much done for me. But other than that, I can smell it, and sometimes it's almost too strong if I do more than one cube. But just breathe. Love it. It is going to be in my club. I'm putting that in my club this year. I did last year, too. All right. Today, guys, I just wanted to, I just put this in at around midnight because uh, I've been following uh, Patricia Gates' um, Wax Melting Challenge for the last several days. And this one is uh, more of a Bring Back My Bar or, or, or an old one. And I did have some Bring Back My Bars I could have worn, but I decided I don't warm this one very often because it's not available anymore. It was just... Uh, taken out of the catalog last fall so we're not going to see it back for probably at least another year unless they decide to do something smart and bring it back and put it in the catalog 
Now, when I found that I love this, I found it through a, a clearance uh, car bar and scent circle. And I fell in love with it. And I thought, okay. And that was last summer. And I thought, okay. I kept hearing that, you know, they bring these things back in the fall. And, and so, but then they didn't bring this one back in the fall. I was like, oh my gosh. And so then I was hunting for it. And every flash sale, every clearance sale, I looked and looked and checked for it. And every, and finally it appeared in a flash sale. And you know what? I bought 12 bars of it. So I'm baby in my 12 bars. This is my first bar down. So I've got 11 left. So almond croissant. I love this one. This is like, I think one of my all time favorites. I don't have the set notes in here, guys. It's like croissant and almond, but not like a cherry almond, more of a nutty almond. It's sweet. It's got like a light, a light sweet cinnamon in there. Mmm. And this is fantastic. So I put three cubes of this in here in my bedroom. Normally I only do two. But I kind of splurged because I was just having a really, been having a really bad day. I thought, you know, I want to smell this. So this is my old bar for the melting challenge. So this is almond croissant. And if you ever see it, run to get it, guys, because it is fabulous. This is my love. And it, I hope if you ever see it for Bring Back My Bar, vote, 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 because I love this one so much. Okay, um, we're all mad here. Um, I got this last year. I got a couple bars of this last year. Um, I did, I think, three cubes out in my open concept um, about a day or so ago. Um, I'm trying to use up some bars that um, I need to use up. Um, to be honest, and it's a pretty pink wax. It has got tart plum, strawberry, pink sugar, and fizz. And this is nice. It is a nice scent. To me, warming it, it smells like drink crystals. Like, um, like you open up, you know, like Kool-Aid crystals or a drink mix crystals, and you can smell that powder in. That's kind of what it smells like to me. Um, it's got a tartness to it. It's got a sweetness to it. Um, the scent is nice. It, 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 the first time I warmed it, I didn't think it lasted very long, but this time when I warmed it, it, it kind of went for like 24 hours. So I was pretty more impressed with it. Um, yeah, Alice in, Wonderful, Alice in Wonderland, we're all mad here. <clears throat> it's not, it's a pretty good set. It's not available right now. If I ever saw it again, I may pick up a couple bars, but it's not like a super, super love for me. I liked it. I enjoyed it, but I'm not mad for it. <laughs> Sorry. I had to. I had to. So that is, um, yeah. I'm not saying no more. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I got to get a drink. My throat is still giving me fits. I'm in my bedroom. I've just been kind of hovering in my bedroom all day today. I don't know why, guys. I just... I have days where I just don't want to be, I just want to be cozy and in here in my room and I just kind of hover, I snuggle up in my room. And I forgot to tell you, we're doing Scentsy first. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so like out of it. Okay, this is a new one, new bar this year that I decided I wanted to try. And this one, a lot of people were enraged with because um, since he said this was bakery, and it is not bakery. It is Sugar Blossoms, or Sugar Blossom, and it is not bakery. But they put it in the bakery category, and a lot of people got mad about this. Golden Blossoms, Sugared Citrus, and Vanilla, and it is a pretty uh, pink colored wax, medium pink. And this one I did not like. I did not like this one at all. It's very floral. It's not a floral that I even really liked. Um, I didn't even like on, on, I don't like it on cold. I didn't like it on warm. It's just not, it's not, I just, I didn't care for it. I didn't even think it was like, it says sugar, citrus. Yeah, it's got a lot of citrus in there and I'm not, I don't know. I just smell a lot of flora. And it's more of a floral that I don't care for. So, um, this one I will not repurchase. Um, I just did, I did get it because I did want to try it. 
because I heard some people said that they really, really liked it and enjoyed it, um, but it was definitely not bakery. I got it knowing it wasn't bakery, but um, it was too, it's too floral for me. So not a repurchase. So that's when I want to get, I'm going to want to get used up and get it out of my uh, collection. Another one that, this is not new. Um, it is in the catalog this year, but I wanted to try it because I didn't get to try it last year. I couldn't try out all things just last year. So I got sugared strawberry and I did three cubes out in my open concept. And it's strawberries, current, California sun, and oh, it's California sun kissed lemons. It smells really pretty. It smells really strawberry-ish, and I don't really smell the lemon part in there that's in there, but there is like a tartness to it. Maybe that's the current, but it's still got a little sweetness to it. I really kind of liked it, but then when I started warming it, I smelled, oh, this is really nice. I really did like it. But I think it's got like a green note in there to me. Like a green, maybe a little bit of watery note in there. So quick, what's in here? Let me look again because I just forgot. Strawberries, currant, California sun kissed lemons. I don't know if it's the lemon making it have that in with the strawberry and the currant, giving it that kind of a greenish note to me. It wasn't horrible. Um, and I may get a couple more bars just continue to try it and see what it does. I may warm it in here in my bedroom to see what it does, but um, just once in a while I picked up that note and it just wasn't something that I enjoyed, um, but it wasn't like horrible. But I think I've got like other strawberry scents that I love better. So um, that being said, this may not be one that I would put in the club. I just may get a couple more bars just to play around with it a little bit, but there's so many good strawberries out there really in the summertime that I don't feel like this is, you know, oh my, do or die. Oh my gosh, I got to have this or I'll never have another good strawberry again. Um, so it was, it was okay. All right. All right. I'm warming this in my living room right now. Um, Mahalo coconut. And I think I got just two cubes out there. And this stuff is pretty potent. I think it's a very strong bar. So I only have ever done like two cubes in my open concept. This has got Hawaiian Lei, Violet, Pineapple, and Coconut. And it is um, a light blue, light Robin's blue color. And it is pretty. It is floral. And it has a coconut in there with it. And... I can't like differentiate the violet from the Hawaiian lei because I've never really like smelt those each on their own. And there's like, there is a pineapple that is kind of creaming it up with the coconut and sweetening it up. I like this one and it's surprising because I don't like um, flor floral very often and I don't like coconut very much and I don't like pineapple. I really don't like pineapple. But this one, it, all those things together, it just seems to kind of work. It, and it's very, very pretty. So um, this is the only one I have of Mahalo Coconut. Um, but I do plan on getting a few more and stocking up. And I don't, I might try to club this. This will probably go in a quarterly club. One bar because it's not something that I want to warm necessarily through the winter. Um, but I, plan I'd like to get a few more bars for the summer though, to be honest. So I already feel like summer's half over, but it's really not. It just started. <laughs> so I don't know why I keep feeling like, I, you know, um, summer's almost over. I gotta get all these, I gotta get my bars and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Mahalo Coconut. It is in the catalog. Check it out and try it before the end of the summer, guys. And, okay, Love and Happiness. This is a Bring Back My Bar. I'm not sure. Bring Back My Bar of June of 2022. That was last year's June. This says Chestnut Vanilla Sugar Cane. This is the first Bring Back My Bar that I participated in. And uh, Patricia Gates gave this one high praise. And it is a beautiful medium rose pink color. And this one is fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. I love this one. 
This one has been in my club ever since last year. And I've got a little stockpile now, but I don't care. It's staying in my club. Chestnut Vanilla Sugar Cane is beautiful. It's kind of got a perfumey, sweet, um, nutty, light nutty, not tons of nutty. Oh my gosh. I love this one. It's really good. It kind of reminds me of like pink haze and sugar a little bit. Mm. So if you ever see Love and Happiness, uh, check it out because they, it is a good bar. And if you see it and bring back my bar, uh, you know, uh, vote it back. Um, I have it in my club and it's staying in my club. We've gotten rid of a lot of bars that were in my club, but that was one that did not go bye-bye. Okay, and I finished a clam of pink rhubarb sugar. This was new, I believe, last year. And scent notes are pink rhubarb, sparkling raspberry, and sugar. And this one is fabulous. It's, it's, it is. I get smell that rhubarb, which is very tart. And then you just got that raspberry. It's just got that, like that sparkling note in there. And then the sugar sweetens it all up. It is very good. I have only one bar of this left. I'm getting more and it's going in my club. And, excuse me. I was glad to see this come back. It was in my club last year, but I had to take it out last year. Um, I was still trying to get used to how clubs work last year. So I was like taking things out and it was just kind of confusing. Now I have a, kind of a system down. So pink rhubarb sugar, definitely going in club. It's a good one. Okay, guys, that is all my Scentsy. So if that's what you came for, thank you so much for joining us. And before you leave, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We'd love to have you join our fam and click the notification bell so you're notified of any of my new uploaded videos. And if you guys have already done that, you're still and um, I thank you guys so much. Make sure you comment down below. Um, and I will see you guys next time. All right. For those of you who are staying, thank you so much. And let's get started. I've got some retail, a little bit of retail wax, and I've got some vendor wax. So let's get started on the retail wax. Um, so I'm going to do this one first. I got that. I got through a candle actually. This is a very, very old candle, Sweet Lavender by Mainstays. And, um, yeah, you can still see where I burned it down to a certain point, And then it's like, I didn't really feel like burning it anymore, so I put it on my candle warmer and warmed it the rest of the way and got all that scent out of There's not, nothing left. I mean, there's wax in there, but there's no scent left. In a, it was a good performer. It was pretty decent. I like Mainstays candles. They're very reasonably priced, and um, they burn kind of fast, but you get through them faster. Um, this one I had burned partially, and then I threw... Um, I put it away and then I just kind of forgot about it, but I wanted to get some of these used up. So I got through a candle. Hey, I need to start utilizing. I have tons of candles, so I need to start really incorporating my candles either in, um, you know, getting them out of the candle uh, uh, containers and chopping them and warming them like wax or start burning them. Um, I prefer to... Um, not burn them. I don't want to burn them. I don't like to burn them because even when I use this like candle snuffer thing, it still smells smoky in my house after I'm done. And I don't like that smoky scent. I mean, I just, you know, warmed a candle for the scent for several out for several hours. And then you go to do that and then it just kind of smells, it smells yucky in the house. I don't like that. And I don't like the fact that I have an open flame going when violets around in the house and stuff because accidents do happen. And um, I just don't care for that. So I prefer to be able to purchase candles that I can uh, freeze them and get them out of the container and then chop them up. All right. Um, next one is Better Homes and Gardens Sunlit Strawberry Patch. I tried this last year, guys, and I fell in love with this one. This one is a really, really good strawberry. This has got strawberry, vanilla bean, uh, green berry leaf, raspberry, and sugar scent. Sugar scent notes. <laughs> Beautiful red wax. This is wonderful. I don't get a whole lot of greenness out of this one. I know it's got, what's it got? Green berry leaf in there, but 
I don't get like tons. It's it's and if it if I'm getting it, it's different than like um what that sugared strawberry was. It's it's just different. This is my favorite so far, by far. Um strawberry scent other than um there's one that was bring back my bar berry something my scent i can't remember what it is now but i have a stash of that too um but this one i really really enjoy in fact i've been purchased i only could i, I could only find like i got this at the end of the season last year and i could only get like three of them and since then i've been stocking up i think i got another two i've purchased um, I'm going to get a few more because now I'm kind of warming it now. And this is just, I really, really enjoyed that. So it is like being out in the strawberry, sunlit strawberry patch. It's very nice. Very, really nice. Um, this is a new one to me that I just recently purchased. And um, this is by Sensational Sea Salt Lavender. And it says, breathe in, breathe out. I don't think I got the notes on this, guys, either. Maybe, yes, I did. Oh, I did. Okay, this is got the top note is green, bergamot, herbal, lavender. Mid notes are lavender and sea salt, beach grass, floral, ozone. Base notes are moss, amber, and wood. Oh, this one, I did not think I'd like this one. This is in the floral category. I really didn't think I'd like this one, but this has got, it's not overly herbally lavender. It's more sweet leaning to me. And you can smell that sea salt in there with it. And when it all warms together, to me, this is almost like a lavender summer holiday is what I kind of get from it. Um, if you not smell summer holiday from uh, Scentsy, um, it is fabulous. And I just kept smelling, I think, Man, this smells almost like summer holiday, only with the lavender twist to it. So I really, really enjoyed this. I've already purchased another one of these, and I'm going to get some more of them because I warmed two cubes in my bedroom, and it was a good performer. It was going for days and days and days. It was still kind of going when I took it out of my warmers, but I was just ready for something else. Um, but And I'm not one much for sea salt scents, but this year I've kind of expanded into them that I do actually like them more. So sea salt lavender is a definite plus. Get it and try it, guys, because it's wonderful. And I got this at Walmart. I know they're like $2.48 now, but it's still pretty reasonable. This one I've had for a long time. I just never tried it. And I decided I wanted to warm it and try it because um, if I do like it, I would like to get more. Um, this is Vanilla and Cookie Crunch by Better Homes and Gardens. And it has a caramel colored wax. I did three cubes at my open concept. Mm, I can smell that already. Shortbread cookie, buttercream, and vanilla. And I love this. This is really good. Yeah, it was like a baked sugar cookie, not the like dough. It was like a baked sugar shortbread cookie um, type scent. And I like them. I like it more when they're baked rather than when they're a dough. So I absolutely, absolutely love this. And the vanilla comes through, that buttercream comes through with it. Mm, absolutely love it. I think it's, it was good on its own, and I think it's going to be a good mixer. The only thing is, is it did leave my um, dishes, my wax dishes, uh, dirty. There was something in it that just left them kind of dirty. But I wiped it right out. It came right out. It wasn't like it stained um, because I did clean it, you know, when I cleaned the wax out right away. So that's something to... Be aware of, I'm definitely going to get some more of this. Loved it. Loved it. Um, I also, with the Bring Back My Bars, the watermelon patch, kind of got me searching maybe for some other watermelon scents. So I got Butter Homes and Gardens Sweet Watermelon Buttercream. I heard about this last year, and a lot of people said that it was really great. So I did three cubes of my open concept. And this is sweet watermelon, honeydew, strawberry leaf, sugar peony, whipped buttercream, vanilla bean, and sugar. And it is a pretty red wax. And this was all right. It was a nice watermelon scent that, um, it wasn't overly watermelony to me. It was kind of light on the watermelon, but that um buttercream did kind of come through 
and sweetness came through. So it was more like a, I don't know what really going to say it's bakery, but it kind of gave me like a desserty type feeling to it. And it was good. It was a sweet, fruity, watermelony scent, but not like Jolly Rancher type sweet um, or Jolly Rancher type. The watermelon wasn't that strong in this one. It was okay. Um, would I repurchase? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll repurchase any more of this or not. I liked it. It was okay. If I, you know, use this up this year, next year I see it in the store, I might get another one. But it's not like um, I do or die. Like, I gotta have it. So, that was uh, Better Homes and Gardens Sweet Watermelon Buttercream. Okay, guys. I am down to two vendor waxes. And then we're done. So, um, yeah, one day I decided, I got this a while back and I just never warmed it. And this is from K Scented Melts. And this is Vanilla Bean Noel. And it's got vanilla bean, rich caramel, and cream. Now on cold, I was kind of worried once I smelled it on cold because it's just not really that strong. It's pretty, it's it's nice, but it's it's a sweet vanilla with a little bit of caramel in there. Like Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works. And um so I thought, oh, I don't know. I kept putting off warming it, kept putting it off, and it's cured. I mean, I got this three March twenty March of twenty-three. So it's several months, it's been sitting for several months. Um, so I decided I'm going to get it out. So I got it out and I did a half a cube in here. My, my, um, I have a nighttime warmer, um, that is going to be coming up in haul that I'm going to show you guys. But, um, I did a half a cube in that and it was good. I was really kind of shocked. It really performed well for no more than what I put in. And it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. Um, the only thing is about like, I, I shut my warmers on and off, like I told you before, and I was doing that with that and about the third day of doing that. It just became, um, not very pleasant to me. Um, it became like a watered down boom, boom almost. Um, and I didn't care for that, but, but you know, Hey, it's been in there for, you know, three days. So that's okay. You know, that's fine. Um, so, um, I got plenty more to go through, so I really have decided whether I want to repurchase this scent or not. K's Scented Melts, Wax Melts is really a good brand. It's good um, wax. Um, Carla Meredith is the owner, and she is a she has really good wax. She's got a lot of scents that I absolutely love. That I'm gonna be. I want to get an order in. I have been meaning to get an order in with her, but I just every a lot of other things keep coming up that I've ordered. But I want to get some order stuff ordered from before fall because I found some absolutely loves that I, I got to have for fall. So that was Vanilla Bean Noel. All right, my last one, guys, was from Second and Spruce. And I got this in one of her RTSs, not this last one that she just had, but um, I think the one before that maybe. And this is Boardwalk Treats. And this has got candied green apples, glazed popcorn, saltwater taffy, sea salt caramel, sweet cream. And this was poured April 7th of 23. And you can see it's got little fun shapes in there. Mm, this is fabulous. I smell the caramel. I smell the green apple in there. Mm, I love it. It's got like, um, yeah, popcorn in there. It's sweet. Mm, absolutely, absolutely love this. So after I lost my scent and uh, smell, I was like, oh, the first day I, I decided I was going to warm something because my scent came, I could start, I was starting to smell stuff again. I thought, this is going in. I want something ooey gooey and sweet and yummy and decadent so I put this in this fit the bill it was amazing um I think I used one of these in my open concept I cut it in like three three different pieces and then I put it in three different warmers out there and it was fabulous for my open concept it really was and I got really high ceilings in my living room not in the kitchen but in my living room I think I got like 12 or 14 foot ceilings and um I don't know maybe taller I don't know but um it worked really really well in there so I did order um, 
her last RTS. I knew I was going to love this, so I went ahead and grabbed a, uh, I think it's a, know, it's a loaf, mini loaf in this. Um, but anytime I see this, I'll be getting it because this was fabulous and it warmed great. So guys, that is what I've been warming. Um, so what have you guys been warming? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys. I'd like to hear what everybody else is warming. And, and you find new scents and different things and different vendors and different, you know, companies and that kind of stuff that you, um, may want to try out and stuff by hearing word of mouth. I word of mouth hearing other people's. I love the videos, what I've been warming videos. I listen to them, watch them all the time. Um, so yeah, there we have it. Um, so guys, um, I don't have nothing else to say. So thanks for joining me today. Um, I appreciate you all so very, so very much. And yeah, um, I already gave the spiel before about um, you know joining our fam and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let me know down below too, guys. Um, are you enjoying the content? Is there something? What is there something you'd like to see? Um, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna tell you what we got coming up. I do have some Nadine West I need to get done. I'm behind on filming. So I want to try to get that done. I do have, um, now I'm going to draw a blank. <laughs> of course, I do have a Sassy Girl Aroma Haul that has been sitting in my uh, wax room for like a month. I got to get that one done. And um, I have two Scentsy Haul videos. I've got one that was clearance haul. And I got another one that is, um, I bring back my bar haul. And I'm trying to think, what else do I have? I just got um, second spruce haul up. And I got my uh, 10 spring summer bar tag done. Oh, I thought about doing the 10 spring summer tag haul um, or summer bar thing um, for retail wax. Because not a lot of people do much with retail. And there has been a lot of them that came out this year that I absolutely have fell in, fallen in love with. So I think I'm going to do a video on that. No one's tagged me on it. And I'm not going to put a tag out for anybody else to do that one. It's just another version of the 10 spring and summer scents. Um, so, um, I think I'm going to do that one. I'm not going to do a vendor one because I haven't been doing vendor very long. Um, and, I kind of want to get, you know, into it a little bit more before I, like, absolutely find some that I love. I'm not real fun of spring and summer anyway, so um, fall and winter scents are more my thing, especially fall. Um, so, that being said, stick around. Uh, make sure, all of you, make sure your notification bell's on so you don't miss anything, so you're notified when anything, any, any ew, anytime I upload a new video. And I'm going to get off here because I have had a rough day and I think I'm going to go to bed. So it's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> so thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.